crafty friends i have a couple dies that i'm going to be working with today and these are from the ks craft lover store on aliexpress and they also have a amazon store and i'll have all those links down below for you um, okay so the first fan that i'm going to make i'm going to turn this one into a shaker so i'm actually going to do two because i'm going to be doing the other one as a spinner or at least that's what i'm going to attempt to do to have the little fan blade spinning okay so for the first one you're going to take your pieces right here and i'm going to show you how many i cut out oh i know there's another one here uh -oh. there is another little round dot one that i'm going to find in just a second where did it go did it go on the bottom of my thing okay sometimes i have magnets around my stuff and they'll get caught on there but anyway i will look for that in just a moment but Okay, so um, the paper collection that I'm using is Bedtime Story. So this is a perfect opportunity to use your 4x6 journaling cards if you have any, right? So these fit perfectly for this. So I went ahead and I cut out this particular piece twice, okay? And so I did my, my backing because, you know, I always like to double them up to make it a little stronger. And then I did my pattern paper, okay? Then the next thing that's going to go is I did one of these, right? And this one is going to be your layering piece. So you could do it the same color or a different one. I chose to do it the same color. Then you want to have one for your fan blade. Okay. And then what I did for this one, actually, I did a few. So I might actually use this on this one. Um, so what I did here is I did about, this is 110 pound cardstock from Michaels. So for this little shaker piece, I went ahead and did three of these in the 110 pound cardstock and one of these in the pattern paper, okay? And then I also used my old school <laughs> spellbinders and abilities. Of course, any one of these circular ones will work for you that um, leaves it whole, okay? And so what I'm going to do is, like I always do, I'm gonna sandwich this in between the acetate. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because my glue is not like fabuloso. <laughs> and um, so it makes it a little bit difficult. And then I'll be able to layer it on top. And of course, I'll add in my little bits here. And then you have one for your little button piece. Okay. I went ahead and cut that out once. And that's the one I was just telling you that I'm missing. So I'll have to find it. But also we have this little piece right here. And this is for the little buttons for your machine. Now I went ahead and cut this out with two different uh, colors so that I could layer my little buttons and have them stand out a little bit more. But it would go across here like... Oops, hold on. Turn it this way. Like so. And then I would go ahead and put the alternate color on top of that. So isn't this stinking cute? I just love this dye. So anyway, um, we'll be back in just a second with a process video.
Well, guys, I think these fans turned out so cute. I love the little shaker one, and I love how it is a baby dreamtime theme from Bedtime Stories with Prima. And also, Prima's Wild and Free. I absolutely love how this turned out, too. I love the rose gold mixed in with a black and pink. And uh, I forgot to tell you, I also um, etched or inked this one with uh, Brutus Monroe Surface Ink Marsala. So I think it really worked out very well to kind of, you know, bring it out a little bit, bring it to that next level. Anyway, I think it's so pretty. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get ready for the next tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to be using this 8x8 paper pad called Wild and Free by Prima. And I have already cut out some of my pieces. So, you know, I like to layer a lot and I want my memory decks card to be pretty heavy duty, you know, so that it won't bend and stuff. But anyway, so I have my back piece, my center piece, and then my top layer. And I'm just going to glue those together. So we have that. I also um, grabbed out my Chaos Craft Burlap die. And, you know, I just want to do like a little, a little bit to add some... Um, depth to my memory decks card and I also cut out my tag and you know what I just love these little dots right here these little holes at the end I thought that was so cute and then of course for the little brads right here on your tag I um, cut it out in two different colors because I thought I would layer so I would do like um, rose gold and then on top of that I would do the black you know just to keep with the theme and then I also cut out my creative by. Now the only one I haven't cut out so far is the Love You. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that for this particular memory decks, but I really do like it. And um, I don't know, I might. I, I just don't know yet because I've already cut out some of these um, ephemera pieces from the collection. And I think that um, these are quite big. And so I don't know how much space I'm going to have on this memory decks. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started.
just really love how this memory dex card turned out i absolutely love the stitching on both the little tag and the memory dex card and um, instead of created, I just cut off the D and it says create. I thought that turned out really cute. And then I just added a little bit of ephemera pieces and some lace and um, a magnolia flower that I made. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day. Don't forget to check out these dies and the shaker pieces over in the KS Craft Lover store as well as these sentiment stickers. I just love them. So I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day, guys. Bye.